Hey everybody, it's Rondia here with uh, Fit to Live by Vets and I just wanted to come on real quick and talk to you about something that's been on my heart. Not, how, not sure how everyone is going to receive this, but it's just something that I need to do for me. You know, when something drops in your spirit, you want to share it and you've been kind of festering over it for a couple of days, which I've been festering over it for a couple of days. And I just want to come on here and just tell you my thoughts. So since this is March Madness, I've been calling it March Madness because of National Nutrition Month. And the theme this year for 2021 is personalize your plate. Well, what's really been on my heart and my spirit is the fact that in the news, we've been talking about COVID-19 and how, number one, it's affecting a lot of our black people in our urban communities. That's number one. Number two, our black communities do not want to take the vaccine because of A, B, C, and D. They don't trust the science. They don't trust the information. They don't trust the companies that's making them. They just don't trust anybody. So what's really been on my heart is the fact that as a black woman in the 21st century, living in the United States of America, land of the land of the free because of the brave, someone like myself served her, her country. I just do not understand why our communities are not trying to do what it takes to beat this COVID-19 pandemic. Number one, let me tell you where I'm coming from. If you are afraid of science and you are afraid of taking a risk on getting this vaccination, and number one, we may not know everything we can about the, the virus itself, but we do know there is a vaccine that's out there that could potentially save your life. So you're, you're not as exposed to this virus as you would be had you not gotten the, vac the vaccine. Just like the flu, the flu shot. It's a, vac it's a vaccine. So you're going to get a little bit of the virus in it. So it may have some altering effects on you for a couple of days. You know, sore arm in that shot area. Maybe a little fever. Um, maybe some nausea. But isn't that worth the risk? Is, isn't that isn't getting the vaccination worth that risk for a temporary uh, altering of your health for a minute? Let me tell you why I ask you that. Because we are afraid of science when it comes to this virus and this pandemic and getting the vaccination. But yet we don't do what we need to do to begin with to preserve and save our health. Let me tell you why. All of that starts at the grocery store. All of that starts with the apps on our phone, uh, placing orders for delivery for DoorDash and, and Grubhub. I only know these apps because of the commercials that's on TV when I do watch TV. But we're so concerned about the science and something that's unknown to us, but we can do something about our health, which is in our own hands, and it starts at what we're putting in our mouths. So... It, my main takeaway for you is if you're so concerned about this virus and how it's killing the, the people in our black and urban communities, we can do what it takes to save ourselves by eating healthier, making healthier choices. Do you really need that pizza today from Pizza Hut because you saw all these commercials? See, that's what they're doing for advertising and marketing. It's not for you. You don't have to partake in everything that you see in social media, on the television, on the radio. It's about the choices that you're going to make that's going to make you healthy in the end. So at the end of the day, the, the foods that you're eating, that is what is killing our black people in our black communities. Y'all need to listen at me. What you have on your plate, what you decide to eat, your choice, 
that is the choice that's going to make you healthy or that is the choice that is going to kill you slowly. It starts with you. If you don't trust the science because of the pandemic and the vaccine and all this other stuff, look at yourself in the mirror and make better choices to have a better outcome on your health. Your health is in your own hands. Don't allow science and all these other doctors out here to dictate how you take care of yourself. They want you to be on medication, 20,000 medications. They want you to keep coming back to the doctor. But if you eat better, eat more vegetables, eat more lean meats, leave all the fast food alone, you know, you don't have to like not eat it. But you just have to make better choices. Maybe save a burger for the weekend or that Popeye's for the weekend. You got to make better choices to heal our own bodies and stop being dependent on the doctors when we really need to be dependent more on doing our own research. And, and you know, maybe you'll have, when you try something different, you'll get different results. If you've been doing the same thing, eating the same foods, and you're complaining about being overweight, you can't walk up a flight of stairs, you're out of breath picking the kids up off the floor or bringing the groceries in, look at how you're taking care of your body. You only get one. So in observance of March Madness, National Nutrition Month, I challenge you for the rest of this month to try to eat better, eat more vegetables, have more fruit, leave that fast food alone, cook your own meals, drink more water, leave that soda pop alone. You know, drink a diet soda. I challenge you for the rest of the month of March, I challenge you to make better, healthier choices. And like I said, it starts in the grocery store. What you're bringing home in your refrigerator is where it all starts. God bless you, and this is Fit to Live by Vets. This is Rondia Verdejo. Take care.